Gary, congratulations, a 4-3 win over Ronnie O'Sullivan. You must be absolutely delighted with that. Yeah, just happy just to get the results, you know. It was uh, it was a big game. Um, like, like a lot of people chasing the one-year list points a little bit as well. So knowing I kind of had to beat him really if I'm going to have half a chance of getting in there. So yeah, just try to block out who it was you're playing as much as you can and, and just, yeah, just hoped I got my chances and make the most of them. And generally I did. I missed a few, but generally made the most of my chances in the ball. So... That's what got us the win in the end. How easy is it to do that and to block out who you're playing against, Ronnie? You've never beaten him before, but you've always come out as a sort of person or come across as a sort of person mm. that isn't intimidated by anyone. No, I'm, I'm not intimidated by anyone. I'm, I'm my own worst enemy, if anything, you know. Um, not in sort of a getting annoyed way, although I can. <laughs> um, more just like I don't ever really feel comfortable like with me game, generally, you know. And it, it is hard to block out when you feel that way, but when on a very rare occasion I do actually feel confident and good about my game it really doesn't matter who I'm playing or what I'm doing you know I think a lot of players would say the same once you're comfortable it is easier to just block everything out and just enjoy the game play the game play the right shots and and come off if you lose and think well I couldn't have done any more I felt good I played the right shots it didn't work out and go on to the next tournament you know and that's the kind of feeling I would like to have more often if I can um, it was nearly there in that game but yeah, still, still improving to do. There was a few bad shots I played there, um, but as I say, generally made the most of my chances in the ball. So, yeah, that's, that's that's all you can ask really if you get chances, just to try and make the breaks and win the frame in one hit. And you must be proud to to, to take that chance in the decider as well, make a, a good break in the end to get over Yeah, the, the, the balls weren't as nice as maybe what they were in a couple of the other chances I'd made the most of. So I didn't necessarily think I was going to win the frame there and then, but. As I say, when I'm feeling quite comfortable, I generally trust my cue ball. I'm, I'm quite good with my cue ball and uh, I had to leave the white in a couple of precise positions on a few shots and managed to just flick a few reds away here and there. And, and it, it opened up for us towards the end. And before I knew it, I was 50, 60 ahead and only needing one or two more. So it kind of came about quite quickly. I was concentrating so hard on each individual pot, which isn't normal when the balls are nice. And uh, like, yeah, as I say, so by, by the time it got to 50 or 60, it felt like it flew by. And having not beaten Ronnie before, it must be nice to kind of check that one off the list and, and to have a kind of a big yeah, match Yeah, I think I think out of all, pretty much all like the the, the bigger players on the tour, um, I think him and Williams were maybe the only two I haven't beaten before. So I think there's only Mark left now. Um, but yeah, obviously it's nice. You don't want to keep playing someone and, and not winning. It, it's nice to it's nice to tick that off a little bit and you know get a result. Yeah. We could target that win over Williams next, but for, next up this week it's Hussein Vafai or Yan Bing Tai. It, a, a, a big weekend ahead and over the next few days you must be feeling confident and you know ready to try and make a challenge uh, not necessarily no I mean I've been in this position a lot of times where I've I maybe had a good result felt okay played the next game played terrible didn't feel anywhere near as good or the game didn't go my way go home again you know it being it being here loads of times swings and roundabouts you know so um, I'll just be trying to keep a very level head about things and just put the practice in a bit more for the next round because I know I'll have to improve generally in how I feel um, and if I do then I know I've got a chance but you know either of them two players are very very good players very tough players as well so yeah I know I'll have to play well. A well, good mindset to have good luck. Yeah thanks very much cheers.